Time to drink some beer. Are you a llama? <laughs> oh man, there's llamas in Minecraft now. And they spit at you. And they wear little jaunty outfits and little sombreros. These crazy little llama things. They're crazy little animals. I saw one kill Dan last night. It was horrifying. This llama in Minecraft just absolutely devastated Dan. Whilst he was in the sea. Dan was in the sea and llamas just started attacking him. Who is shouting? I'm behind you. And they ruined film trailers. How do llamas ruin film trailers? Dan, you're a pussycat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Anyway, buddy, we are drinking this today. It's by Lord Chambry. It's called Groin Tentnanga Baltic Porter. So on the front, there's like one of those anti-tank tea things that you see on beaches from like the, the Second World War. I guess that's what it is. And over here, it's got some text that says, we speak beer, Lord Chambry. That is the beer. Uh, the can's kind of cool. I do like the orange and the green style of it. It's kind of a cool colorway. Anyway, taste notes say it's 5% gentle roast and treacle up front, followed by a balancing bitterness. The classic German hop Tenkanger, Tetnanga, brings an earthy balance to this Baltic style porter. Tetnanga is T E T T N A N G R. So if anybody knows how to pronounce that word better than me, let me know. But I'm going to pronounce it Tetnanga. <laughs> It's going to be sweet, malty, and dark. So that's kind of the overview of this beer. So we'll get it open, we'll pour it out, we'll smell it, we'll taste it, and we'll see what rabbit holes we fall down. Have you not seen... Oh, the Minecraft film trailer. I thought the llama at the end of the film trailer is probably one of the best bits of it. I don't understand why um, Steve, played by um, Jack Black, isn't CGI. Like, I can kind of get why the people strolling into the game from the real world aren't CGI, because you can kind of write plot points that other escaped into the game. But Steve, unless it's a Jumanji plot, unless it's straight up the Jumanji plot, and Steve's been stuck in there for years. <laughs> Jay! No! Stop it! <laughs> that scared me. Yeah, unless it's a Jumanji plot, I don't get why Steve isn't, um, isn't going to be CGI. I want it to be CGI. I want Steve to be CGI, like we know Steve. But Jack Black is a good character, a uh, good actor. But I do start to think he's signing up to everything, like his whole cameo in um, uh, the Mandalorian. His whole camera, uh, cameo in Mandalorian was a bit naff. So maybe he's just signing up to everything. Makes some last-minute cash before he retires. I don't know. Right, let's get this poured. It's the only moment in the stream where we get calm. We take our time, and she, she, we appreciate. The finer things in life, like the pouring of a beer. Right, so as the can says, it's a Baltic Porter, so it's nice and dark. In fact, it looks a bit like Cherry Cola. It's kind of got a little bit of a red sheen to it, and it's not kind of black black. I can see through it. Okay. I had a marble this colour when I was a kid. What a weird thing to have suddenly come back into mind. I remember having a marble and for years I thought it was black. And then one day, for some reason, I just held it up to the sun and I realised it had a red tint to it. And it was very much like this, which you can't really see because the lights are on this side of everything. So they're reflecting off of it. But yeah, it's kind of got a red sheen to it. it reminds me of a marble. How weird. What a weird thing to come back into my mind. Mm. Well, that reminds me. I've got loads of marbles. I need to find them. Smell wise, very caramelly, very caramel, 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 very caramelly. Um, yeah, smells really sweet and like, yeah, like sugar, like sugary sweet caramel. Hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. We'll give it a try though. <laughs> Can you give me some marbles? I've lost mine. I've lost mine too. I'm not sure where they are. If you need to find your marbles, then you've officially lost your marbles. I've lost my marbles years ago. I think my mum has my childhood marbles. <laughs> I think I lost my marbles at my mum's house. Who in chat used to play marbles as a kid? And what were your rules for marbles? We used to play them on drain covers. So the drain covers would have like those little shapes that made them more grippy or easier to handle. And they'd be like mazes for the marbles. So one person would start on one side. We'd be working um, portrait. So one would be like, would be the longest distance from each other on this bit. And you'd have to flip them at each other. But those, obviously those dimples and ridges would create different movements. So you could never do like a straight shot. Cause in the normal ring, you do a straight shot and you can knock. 
But then it was the same thing. So a marble would be deemed like a par or something. I don't know. But it'd be like, this is a five hitter or this is a one hitter. And you'd, you'd, you'd play that. And um, like if you're up against a five hitter, you'd have to hit that marble five times to beat it. I can't remember the scoring system or whether we just pulled the numbers out of our asses and went, yeah, this one's a hundred hitter. <laughs> But we kind of had, we knew we couldn't go too high, but I can't remember where the scoring came from. But yeah, you just had to flick them each other, and the ground would be uneven, so the marbles would go everywhere. You just had to hit each other. You just collected the cool ones. Kim has bars. <laughs> Same way as you. Um, and I remember, like, I do remember, like, odd shaped ones. So you could get, um, you get eggy ones, ones that weren't quite round. They were slightly egged, and they'd be worth more, or ones that had input. Oddly, ones that had imperfections in them would be like ranked up in the how many hits it would take to defeat it kind of thing. And I'm not sure why, but I guess because they're rarer. I would do the same and just try and find cool ones. <laughs> cool ones are cool. Used to play on Drenkum. You're the same, exactly. Drenkum because it made it interesting. It kind of made made the whole play terrain very, very different. Anyway, back to the beer. Caramelly smell. Not much going on there. We're gonna we're gonna do the crash method, which is drink straight from the can. Now, not much going on in terms of flavour. Quite boring. I don't normally like porters. Porters aren't my thing, but this has got no flavour to it, so I'm gonna be able to drink this quite easily. You lost your marbles as well, Lily. I'm pretty sure mine are at my mum's. But my mum's pretty much kept everything from my childhood. Even the stuff I was like, I don't want this anymore. Why have you kept it? She's like, oh, it's in the loft. Um. Electronic games. Electronic games came in to take over from marbles. I guess they did. Why do you look like a college student tonight? Me? It's probably this new jacket. I bought this. I like snowboarding in these things in the springtime. These little shacket things. I like these for snowboarding because they're kind of like wool. So they're like semi waterproof. Um, and they're just nice. It was a feeling a bit cold. I was feeling a little bit cold. That's why I look like a student, maybe. You're probably used to seeing me in just t shirts or shirts, but this is kind of. Yeah, like a snowboard wear. Stuff I like snowboarding in. Anyway, this beer. <laughs> um, it's alright. I'm probably going to give it a 3 out of 5. Nothing amazing. Nothing awful. Just okay. Um, anyway, cheers to you all.